Hey folks, this is Wally. Wanted to um, get together and wanted to talk about something you guys uh, may or may not have heard of. Um, that's uh, basically a new, um, I don't know if I want to call it server-side technology, but we'll call it a display technology for ASP.NET. Um, you may have heard of it referred to as Web Matrix and Razor. Razor really I think is the more uh, technical term, the more correct term for the display technology, Web Matrix is kind of this umbrella term plus it's also the name of a um, very interesting uh, dev tool um, for Razor. But anyway, I want to talk about this in two parts. One, just want to do a kind of quick overview of what Web Matrix and Razor are and then the second part I want to do some uh, examples. So let's get going. Um, Alright, so you know who I am. Um, you know, with any uh, demo, and especially any demo that's uh, based on beta product, you know, something might not work quite right, so please, as uh, Mr. Vargas says, please have a heart. So, the key piece about Razor and Web Matrix, and you may also hear ASP.NET Web Pages, the, the key story here is, you know, as developers, we've always thought of... Um, you know, trying to take as many square pegs and putting and jamming them into round holes and, you know, saying this is the solution that will solve every problem. And as we've matured and gone forward in this, you know, PC development space, um, we found that doesn't really solve every problem. So um, the way typically companies attack this is they look at it from a standpoint of market segments. So we have different market segments for uh, solving, in this case, we have different solutions, different market segments for solving different problems. We have, uh, you know, web forms, which is good for uh, RAD type development. We have MVC, which is good for, you know, very clean, very minimalistic HTML, very testable. Um, you know, it's really designed for, you know, those who need and want control. We have Ajax type solutions, we have Silverlight solutions. Well, ASP.NET Web Pages is just another segment. And, you know, I, it's funny, I've always been on this idea of market segments and why market segments are important, but I haven't really thought about it from a development standpoint. And I was hearing this story about the different market segments, and, you know, I was kind of, it was kind of in one ear and out the other. And I'm coming back from Seattle back in August, uh, the beginning of August. And I sit next to this guy who, if you're into movies, if you remember John Candy's character from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and he would talk to anybody and everybody. And just blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting right next to him. Well, I'm not the Steve Martin character. Um, you know, I'm just reading my stuff. And so anyway, he and I start talking. And it ends up he's a developer. And he has done um, web forms, and he started looking at MVC, and then he was like, no, 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 all this stuff, is too complicated. Web forms, MVC, it's all too complicated. I want a page, I want a file, I want to start typing in that file, and then I want to run that file. And that's all I want. And, you know, you may say, oh, that's PHP, ooh, that's horrible, blah, blah, blah. Well, that may or may not, you know, that may be true, it may not be true. But that's what the marketplace wants. And ultimately, we have to remember, Microsoft is a company that has to sell things. And so, you know, in this case, you know, trying to jam an MVC square peg or a WebForm square peg or a Silverlight square peg into his round hole doesn't quite work. Okay? He said, you know, we've just decided to take all of our stuff to PHP just because it's simpler we can get things going and we've got control. And so that's, you know, really what um, Razor and Web Matrix and ASP.NET web pages and those types of solutions are trying to solve. They're trying to solve that simplicity problem. Get me going right now. So um, let's take a quick look at what the web stack looks like. Um, we've got um, Web PI. You can download code with that. Um, then we've got a server, and um, 
that server is different from the Cassini server that's included with um, Visual Studio because it can it's basically IIS with a certain subset of features. It's IIS uh, Developer Express, IIS Express. Um, you know, it works pretty good product. Um, been working with it now for a few months. Um, we've got a framework, ASP.NET and Razor. We can do our inline scripting. We can do our database access. Um, you know, oh, also for those of you who are interested, it's uh, built on MVC. And I've been talking uh, with Eric. He's one of the project man uh, program managers for ASP.NET web pages. And they're actually working, he's actually working on a paper which will probably come out sometime in the mid future. I don't want to say near future, um, but mid future about how to convert a web matrix razor application into MVC. We've got a tool, web matrix IDE. It's a very early on tool, but it's, you know, it's there. You're starting to see some of the things that they want to deliver. And then finally, they've got, uh, this, uh, SQL compact database offering. It's there. Um, the examples I actually have don't use it, but it's there if you want to use it. And then you have apps on top of it. You download through WebPI, modify to your heart's content. Um, there's a number of them. We're not actually going to look at them in the demos, but they are there. So the Microsoft Vision, um, you know, they're trying to just, you know, combine everything and make it as simple as possible for developers. Um, the pieces of Web Matrix, kind of already mentioned, the IDE, uh, IIS Express, SQL Compact, and ASP.NET web pages. It's fairly small, fairly simple to set up. Um, and then, you know, here again, we have to remember this is just another market segment. It's a piece of um, ASP.NET. It's not meant as a replacement for web forms. It's not meant as a replacement for MVC, Ajax, Silverlight, any of those kind of things. It's another solution. So along those lines, it becomes an equal member of the ASP.NET family along with web forms and MVC. So we'll have this third option of ASP.NET uh, web pages. The current status, as I'm doing this, they're currently at beta 2. Um, IntelliSense support is lacking. I'm told that they've committed that they'll have a uh, QFE for uh, 2010, and then um, IntelliSense. IntelliSense actually isn't going to make it into Web Matrix version one, but it will make it out into uh, version two. At least that's the current commitment. Um, the rest of this is kind of some marketing type slides. So I'm just going to kind of uh, scroll through, go through them fairly quickly because I want to get to the examples. Um, you know, simple to get there, simple to get started. Uh, you've got a gallery, stuff you can download. Here's the startup splash screen, uh, which we'll look at more in the second set. Um, IIS Developer Express, already mentioned. The SQL Compact version 4. Uh, some of the principles for ASP.NET web pages. Um, you have small grows up with you, you know, you just start coding. What could be simpler than that? Um, you can do a, more than just hello world fairly simply. There's actually a bunch of helpers that allow you to construct uh, HTML really easily. If you're coming for, at this from uh, MVC world, you'd be, you know, familiar with it. Uh, if you're coming at this from the web forms world, you know, think of it as, you know, ASP.NET server controls, but um, having more functionality. Uh, you can do your database stuff, um, hey, download files, modify them, knock yourself out. Uh, one piece I think that uh, they haven't played up a lot is um, they've got SEO information built directly into Web Matrix. Um, because we can't, you know, post this stuff publicly, you know, to a public hosted server unless you control it. Um, you can't really do a demo of it, but it is there. I've seen it, and it's it's pretty slick. And then there'll be some easy ways to go and upload this. So, all right, cool. So that's the end of um, part one. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do part two, and we're going to talk about some of the. Uh, we'll do a demo of some of the features. Thanks.